right. How you doing, folks? This is Ryan here with the Louisiana Academy of Performing Arts. We're here today with another video in our Lanyap Lesson series. So today we're going to be talking about DAW control uh, with Pro Tools and the Allen & Heath SQ5. So kind of a recording video for you. And uh, the reason we're doing this is because we have this mixer here in our studio. And um, dock control was something that um, I was wondering how this particular mixer handled um, when I was researching it. And um, I didn't come across any videos on YouTube. And um, the good news is everything works great. Um, you know, it's very easy to set up and the instructions are actually very good um, from Alan and Heath. But if you're like me, and you probably are because you're on YouTube searching for this, um, you'd rather watch a video about um, setting it up um, rather than the instructions. So I am happy to do that for you. So let's go ahead and uh, get started here. We're on the Allen & Heath website and um, you just do a dock control SQ5 um, search and you'll get here. This is the main SQ page. It has a lot of um, various software for the different versions of the SQ uh, mixer and um, of course the app for MixPad, USB driver. We want the DAW control driver. So you do want to download the latest one because it supports um, scribble strips, um, which before it did not apparently. So you definitely want to use that one. Let's go ahead and download and install it. Um, just click. I have already done that. And I actually just need to launch it. So I'm going to launch it. That's what it looks like. And then you get the neat little icon down there. And once it's installed, um, you just need to do a little basic configuration. You select the SQ as the mixer. Leave MIDI channel as two, unless there's a reason not to. Um, protocol is going to be Huey. And then you can choose um, your MIDI um, option here. So if you're on a network, you can use TCP IP. And then you'll want to check the um, connect box here. And then you can pretty much just close that out. So you've got the DAW control running. Great. Now we're ready to go over um, to the mixer. So let's take a look at that. On the mixer, you're going to want to go to the Setup tab and you want to select the Surface icon. Um, then if you look over here on this side, um, you're going to want to go to the DCA MIDI. And um, the way this works is um, you have um, a MIDI channel for each Pro Tools channel that you want to control. So the SQ5 can do 32 MIDI channels and you can access those by just kind of scrolling this way and then you see all your MIDI channels. Um, now where to place the MIDI channels? That's the question. Well the good news is you can do this anywhere you like. The mixer and the channel strips are completely customizable. So we have um, layers A through F. So you get to the different layers just by pressing these buttons. And, um, you know, it's really up to you. I have layer B um, available. So there's nothing on there right now. So that's where I'm going to do mine here. So let's go back to a close-up here so you can see. And then um, I'm just going to tap a MIDI channel here. And just drag it down and then um, you can do as many as you like just need one like I said per um, Pro Tools channel that you want to control so once I do that you see the scribble strips turn white and what you can't see is it actually says MIDI 1, MIDI 2, MIDI 3, MIDI 4 later once we launch Pro Tools that'll actually change to the name of the track so once that's done, we're going to go over to the Utility um, tab, and then we're going to um, select MIDI. Um, this is a neat little page here where you can actually um, you have the controls. So you can play, stop, rewind, pause, arm. Um, so that's pretty helpful to have right there. You can also assign soft keys um, to do a lot of things via MIDI. I haven't investigated that yet. 
Um, if you know how to do that and want to share, feel free to um, comment. Um, I'm sure eventually I'll get into that. But what you want to look at here is make sure you have MIDI channel 1 and then um, dock. I don't think you can change the dock control to anything but 2. Uh, maybe you can, but you really don't need to. So just leave that as it is. So now that we have that taken care of, we are going to go over to Pro Tools now. And we need to do two things there. So we're going to go first to the Setup tab, and then we're going to go to MIDI and MIDI Input Devices. What you need to see here is Dock Control MIDI 1 through 4. Now if you don't see that, um, it's probably because you had Pro Tools open when you installed the Dock Control driver. So just go ahead and close Pro Tools, relaunch, and then you'll probably see those. Okay, and make sure you check mark each one of those, and then we're going to go over to Setup. And uh, we're going to go now to Peripherals, and then to MIDI Controllers. And what you need to do here is set up a controller for every eight MIDI channels that you want to control. So we're going to select Huey as the protocol, then receive from Dock Control MIDI 1, send to Dock Control MIDI 1, and number of channels is 8, you can't change that. And then um, do it again for another 8 channels. I'm going to be doing 16 channels eventually probably, so that's why I have two sets of 8. And we select OK. And that is it. So now you should see on your scribble strip the name of your um, track, which it's kind of hard to see here, but that is working for me. And then, um, of course, the fader. So the fader is moving. Great. Um, and then if I select mute on the mixer, my mute button is activated. And then the paffle button acts like a solo uh, button. And uh, like I said, the soft keys also can do a lot of things, and I'll get to that eventually. But um, for now, this is great. This means I can work. <laughs> and um, I'm sure that means you can work too. So um, anyway, if this was helpful for you, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. And um, if you'd like more videos on this, just let us know. We do all kinds of things here with our videos. You know, we cover all kinds of topics. So thanks so much uh, for joining us today. And we'll see you next time. Take care.